Hey guys, so this is my look today. It's not flashy or flamboyant. I just, I'm just going out to grab some snacks for my collabs with Becky tomorrow. Becky and uh, Stephanie, we are going to have a collab together. Uh, and oh, after 14 hours oh, uh, of the time I spent on the airplane, I'm just, you know, jet lagged and everything. I had my breakfast and I come back, got some uh, medicines and band-aids. But now I'm going out because I saw on the way back, I saw there is like a food festival. Uh, I think it's it's pretty interesting because even though now I'm stuck, I still want to feel it for you guys. And because it is my first trip to America, so I am super, super excited. I want to bring everything back to China. Right now, I'm just go grab some candy and you're going to ride along with me. If you're American, probably it's not that interesting for you, but I think my fellows in China will be interesting about this. Just like when I blog about stuff in Shenzhen, you're interesting about it. My room is super messy. Don't mind me. I just don't have time to tidy it up yet. So let's go. Do I have everything? Let's double check. Yeah, my... Uh, I don't even have time to do my hair. It's just, you know, I just still, my brain is like, Ugh. Turn up the light, save some power. Because I'm living in Chinatown, so there are lots of uh, Chinese, and they're uh, going to this Hong Kong supermarket, going to grab some candy, grab some snacks. microwave or kitchen so I cannot cook for myself. I can only go down and grab something to eat. Almost uh, autumn festival, so they're selling mooncakes, sixty-eight dollars. This is pretty expensive. In China is much cheaper. Yeah. We have sriracha. I love sriracha. Oh, this where is the where are the candies? Maybe it's down there. I think it's down there. They have uh, the floor. Usually in China, there will be an uh, escalator, but this one, they just have stairs. 
welcome for me to digest a little bit and then go to the food festival and have some more. Noodles, noodles. Have some Japanese candies, but no Chinese candies. Oh, this this candy is yeah, very Chinese. This one is uh, very popular in China, so I'm going to get grab some. This one we usually eat it in New Year. Yeah, I'll get some too, but I want new flavor. This tastes good, really good. When I was a kid, I love those. Coffee candy. Might be of my grandpa. Coffee candy, I don't know. It's pretty weird, you know. But I guess if. American drinks coffee, so they're okay with coffee candy. Mucha. Mucha. I like mucha flavor. Okay, if you live in China, I think it's from 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 um, Japan, not Chinese candy. Damn! Why am I wearing sneakers today? Well, that's it. A point up. Brought out of Japan. Oh, this one is also very popular in China. Oh my god, I love those. Ah, uh, this is me. What? Yeah, this Japanese candy sour pop. Yeah, man. Maybe I should bring some. Yeah. Hey, bye, pay. Orange flavor, no, probably too weird. Camer Cameron flavor. You love candies. <laughs> oh, because I have a collab with uh, other YouTubers tomorrow, so I'm going to grab some Chinese candies. I didn't bring any from China, so, oh man. Oh. <laughs> and it's so hard to find Chinese candy. Isn't that Hong Kong supermarket? They're all from Japan. Oh man, yeah, I feel bad. All from Japan. Many are from Japan, it's true. Yeah. But it, around here. But if you go a little bit more this way, is it more Chinese? Yeah. Where are you from? I'm in, from China, Shenzhen, from uh, Shenzhen. Oh, I see. Near Hong Kong. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I went to Hong Kong, and I went to little. My best friend is like a brother. He's from Hong Kong, but he doesn't like to go back because Hong Kong changed. He said it's not the same. He doesn't like the people anymore. So he's a doctor in Philadelphia, but we're going to buy a house in France because I'm French. Fagua. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah. next month uh, I'm going to Fran France. Oh, really? France, yeah. I was with French. And, oh, I don't know what to do. <laughs> they uh, they invited me for uh, for me to uh, attend to a meeting, uh, uh, an event called Maker Fair. It's my whole trip here also for Maker Fair. Oh. Like the makers and DIY tinkers, they're going there, you know, for meetups and to show people what they made. I think oh. you heard, have you heard of it, Maker Fair? No, no, <laughs> I'm not very... I am like old man, I read a lot, I'm old fashioned. My <laughs> son, my son is a runner and he always go Instagram or this, but I don't uh, do that. I, I'm very old fashioned. But um, yeah, I went to Hong Kong, I went to a little village. Yeah, yeah. If, if you know he thinks Hong Kong changed, probably should go to Shenzhen because Shenzhen is a hardware paradise. Like, really? Yeah, I do vlogging for, uh, in Shenzhen for people who are interested in hardware products and uh, factories, I visit factories to show them so when they have like an idea yeah. or they have a small startup project they can come uh, come to Shenzhen and do a crowdfunding there and then put it on Kickstarter. Usually that's what they do. Oh. So yeah. But yes, but nice, <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice you. <laughs> I think this is, should be love this candy. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah, yeah, you too. Have a nice day. Oh, that was pleasant. Ah. 
do a whole a whole day that would uh-huh. just start a conversation with a stranger. Yeah, people are friendly here, I would say. Very convenient. <laughs> Although the mass speaking Cantonese, so I'll just lie back on the couch.